What's your favorite, uh, favorite brand? Go. Favorite brand of beer? Mm. Oh, God, it's difficult. My favorite beer, um, uh, I have two. Mm. And they're also from my two qu favorite cuisines, uh, Italian and Japanese. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite Japanese beer is Sapporo Black, which mm, is a, nice which based. Is, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which is a which is a dark beer, very beautiful and mm -hmm. uh, quite expensive too. Mm -hmm. And my second favorite beer, or rather, I'd say they're tied. My favorite Italian beer is Peroni Grandizova, which uh, you mm. can only normally get at uh, Italian restaurants. It sounds bougie. Uh, it yeah, they call it golden hour in a bottle, and uh, I would mm. agree with that. I think it's a very crisp and beautiful beer. Mm. It's like very classic in its taste, but I think it's just richer and more beautiful than your average beer. So yeah, it's like uh, yeah, I would say it's pretty great. That's fair. I think like the only beers that I ever bother to drink is like actually the only beer that I bother to drink is either a Sapporo or a Asahi. Oh, Asahi, Asahi yeah. is very nice. As mm -mm. Well, yeah. Like on the rare occasion I choose to drink beer, it's usually Asahi or something. But like, I think like Ooh. sometimes I do stoop to, to, to taking uh, to drinking a Heineken every now and then, but that's pretty rare. Oh, Heineken. I love Heineken. You do? I, it's kind of meh. Um, I've been drinking Cronenberg tonight, which I, which mm. I really enjoy. I remember I used to dislike it because I thought it was too bitter. But then uh, a few years ago, I went to a pub with my dad and Cronenberg uh, was on tap there. And we had a bunch mm. of it. And... Uh, it was really nice. You know, the nicest, I think the nicest part about growing up is uh, being able to drink with your parents. It's just, it's mm. just such a fun time. I've never, I've never done time. that. I mean, I've been, yeah, I've been, I've been drinking with my parents for hundreds of years now. And mm -hmm. like, just, it never gets old. Just us all being like, well, you know, it's great to see your home son. And I'm like, yeah, it's great to see you too, old man. And then we just, then we just have us have a few sips and suddenly we're all arguing. And I'm just like, no, listen Aww. here. You don't understand. And he's like, no, you're wrong, son. And then it just sort of becomes a whole thing. Like, I don't know, just getting, growing up and getting to be friends with your parents is mm. great because, I don't know, I feel, I feel very blessed, very blessed in, 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 indeed, you know, because I know it's not this way for a lot of people, but I feel extremely blessed that I have, I, I have really nice parents. You yeah, know? yeah. And just getting, just getting to like, after having, you know, after having been a kid and then being separated from them for so long, for you know, for hundreds of years traveling mm -hmm. or whatever it was, then getting to come back and just get to like, like I just feel like, oh yeah, you guys are cool. You know, like I, I really appreciate my my parents. I'm excited to go spend Christmas with them this year. Yeah, that's nice. Like, it's like personally, um, my parents and I were not uh, close for a while. I think with me being so rebellious up in heaven, it probably didn't really please them too too much, you know. Um, but like over time we did fix things and get a lot better over time, but like I've yet to take them out to get a drink. I'd love to one day, but I don't know if we're quite there yet. One day I'd like to. One day. It's one of my goals, that's for sure. I'd like to mm. I'd like to buy them something. Yeah, you know? Oh, that'd be wonderful, mm. yeah. One day I'd like to get there. We're working on it, but one day we'll be there, yeah.